Hey, um, in my last video, if you haven't seen it, then click your, click your, you, your video screen now. Or, but anyway, in my last video, I said to make a video response of how to, well, how to edit sprites. I figured that out, actually, just after. I just didn't make the video. So, I'll show you now. Open your Lunar Magic. And I'll use my copied file, so no difference. Waiting for it to load. I'll just pause this for a minute. Okay, here's my level. Notice that everything's upside down, even the bullet bills that are over here. Here, see? Right there. They're upside down. Figured that a few days ago. It's actually pretty easy. You click this button right here by this one, and you get these. Well, you don't want to mess with. Well, you can mess with it however you want, make everything look weird. But that's not what I want. I want here. These are the sprites. Hit the down key on your keyboard two times, and you'll find these. And hit again if you want these. This is where I found them. And here's my upside down bullet bill. I could make these upside down. The Goombas upside down if I wanted to. But I don't uh, I don't want to. I just want the upside down bullet bills. By the way, the result of this ROM is not upside down Mario World. It's what the fuck Mario World. So yeah. Anyway, you can also change the color of sprite if you want to. So I'll just oops. Um let's just say I'll make a green bullet bill. And then hit F nine. Click yes anyways, ignore the message, and then click the green mushroom here. Now I'm not completely sure how it changes the color, but that's how you do it. And you can even edit Nintendo Presents. This is Nintendo Presents, these four. I just changed them into that. So yeah figure all that out and I'll show you other a uh, few other things like how to IPS patch I'll just pause this for a minute okay now I'll show you how to IPS patch nor you shouldn't have an IPS file but if you do then good job to you anyway you click this link right here click it and then your whatever your unzipping file will unzip it you take Lunar IPS out, and when you open it, this file will appear, and the icon looks like this, right there. So that's what it looks like. What it does is, let's just let's just go to SMW Central. By the way, go back a little bit to. To Soya's niche page on the video and click the link to the video. If you don't have annotations on or whatever, turn them on and then click the video. Okay, and click the video now if you want to go to this page. This page shows different patches for what people made on smwcentral.net they posted here nicely and there there they all are 
you can use all of these but I'm not sure how to do the bin so look for this part in the text and then download it don't click do any because yeah I don't know how to unzip a dot bin file <laughs> lots of files there anyway I'll show you one I used the Goomba patch IPS file on my ROM now I'll show you what it does Okay, here's my ROM. Just give it a minute to load because I'm recording and it's a game, so it takes a minute. Just a minute. I'm having too many technical issues because of my slow, slow, slow dying computer. So I can't show you what it does. But I can tell you, the Goomba patch is, you jump on the Goomba and it dies. It doesn't flip upside down and you can kick it or throw it or grab it or whatever. But it just dies like in Super Mario Bros. 3. I also got the brick patch, so it turned blocks in like Super Mario Bros. 3 breakable bricks. You know, those shiny things. So that's it. Enjoy my, I hope that's pretty much all for now. If you want to edit what like Mario looks like, you'll have to use ASM patching, which is, you can find that in SMW Central, which is earlier in the movie. But that's it. Later.